So I was going across my Twitter timeline and I saw a tweet that was highlighting pickleball, but not in the right way. The tweet in and of itself was calling out the sport of pickleball, how it looked boring and questioning why it was even on the air at all. I think it was on ESPN. And I was reading through all the quote tweets and apparently there are a lot of pickleball haters and naysayers. And it got me thinking, is pickleball a good sport for TV? Now, for those of you that know me, you know that I will always try out a new sports league or a new summer sport. I'll always try to give it at least one look, whether it's the AAF, whether it's slam ball, whether it's the Premier Lacrosse League. And pickleball was intriguing. I was at a bar with my friends and pickleball was on TV and I was like, look guys, holy, wow, pickleball's on TV. And for me, I've only played pickleball a couple of times, but I've had a fun time of it, you know? I call it a mix of tennis and ping pong, but I know that other pickleball players might not call it that or consider it that, but I digress. But the thing is, is that I've seen a lot of pickleball hate. There was this New York Times article that said that like neighbors were tired of hearing the pickleball like dinking sound. I didn't know that there were many that many pickleball haters and I'm not a pickleball fan, I'm extremely neutral. I like playing the game. I've never even thought about watching the game on TV. I think a lot of people are frustrated with pickleball because it seems like it's come out of nowhere and it feels like gentrification if it was a sport. Because the it, it just does. It feels like it's popping up out of nowhere like it's the newest like Whole Foods in your neighborhood. But pickleball was invented in 1965 and has been very popular in the Pacific Northwest. And in 2002, pickleball was named the official sport of the state of Washington. So it, it's been around for decades, but I feel like it's just now picking up steam. And I say this as someone that got my dad a pickleball paddle and ball for a present and then looked up that a lot of people get injured playing pickleball. And I'm very glad that my dad took kayaking. He took up kayaking instead. I don't think he's used my present and I'm actually thankful for that. I don't want him to get hurt. So for the sake of this video, I decided to watch a singles pickleball match and a doubles pickleball match. And I want, again, I want to just reiterate that this is all just a small sample size. Here are my thoughts, here are my findings. Before I get into the actual gameplay, I just want to show you that the rules are a little bit different. There's a thing called the kitchen. It's like a little like vertical line where uh, you can't like, as a pickleball player, you can't like set foot in there. So you're gonna get a lot of people just like standing on the edge of it trying to hit because you can hit the ball there, I think. A player may legally be in the kitchen anytime other than when volleying a ball. So if you volley a ball, you can't volley a ball in the kitchen. That makes sense. It prevents like you just actually like Wario smashing all the time. So I think that's like one of the main differences between pickleball and tennis. The other one is that you can only score points if you're the player serving. So sometimes like a defender will like win a point, but then the scoreboard won't change. This is one thing I think that's confusing if you're airing pickleball at a bar or restaurant and you're trying to like watch it with the sound off. And if you're a new watcher, you're not gonna understand what's happening. You're gonna be like, the scoreboard's not working. I understand that part, okay? And uh, games are usually played to 11. So again, 11 points, but you have to be like the server on all those 11 points. But other than that, pickleball takes a lot of things from tennis, a lot of things from ping pong, and a lot of things. I, I see some badminton in there too, but we'll get to that later. Now pickleball is played in either singles or doubles. And according to the USA Pickleball website, doubles is more common. However, I found myself more entertained watching singles pickleball than doubles. And the reason why is that I felt like there was just more movement and space as like the seeing the players go like round. It reminded me a lot of like the tennis style game where you're, you're trying to use the entire court to your advantage. And I saw that for uh, singles a lot. Another thing I noticed is that the singles matches last like half the time as the doubles matches because the rallies are shorter. Um, I found that really cool compared to the doubles side but the double side does have something that I do want to harp on later. But I liked watching singles better because I felt like it was more like movement. And I'm, I'm a person that likes movement in my sports. I don't really like stationary sporting events. So I like the singles event there. I think something that can really help out a new sporting league or a sport that has a lot of new eyeballs on it is the commentary. 
the color commentating and the play-by-play. -play. You have to do a really good job of explaining the rules, why something may be different than another thing. You know, you're going to have a lot of people that are coming in to watch pickleball, but they, they're thinking tennis in their brain. And you as a commentator have to like kind of undo that a little bit. And the commentators that I watched were doing a great job of explaining uh, the terminology and the lingo because there there was a there was a couple of things where I was just like, well, what is that called? The commentary was very good. It kept me engaged. It kept me like wondering what the storyline behind some of these pickleball players are because a lot of the top pickleball players, it felt like were ex-tennis players. I think there are a couple of players that I watched that they were like, yo, yeah, this player was like ranked in college tennis and now they just went to the pickleball circuit and now they're just absolutely tearing it up. So it's also cool to see that these players come from like, they're, they're racket professionals, right? It's not like, you know what I mean. Now, singles I found more entertaining, but now we're gonna get to doubles. And now the tweet that I saw was about doubles. It was doubles pickleball. And the point in itself looked very boring. It looked like a very boring point. And I wanna say that doubles has some points that are like that, but not all doubles points were like that. Uh, sometimes you got some really exciting, like back and forth, like quick, quick, quick. Like it was, it felt like anime or it felt like the matrix in like the rallies just got like back and forth, back and forth. And those points, I, for, I don't know what the actual uh, terminology of it for pickleball is, but it felt like just very quick back and forth. It felt like, uh, felt like a karate fight where the ball was just going zip, zip, zip. And they were, that was like the height of pickleball for my experience, okay? Now, another thing about pickleball that I have to talk about is the two bounce rule. So if a team is serving, that ball bounces over there. That's the first bounce. When the team returns it, the serving team has to then let that ball bounce. That's the second bounce. After that, you can like volley or whatever. So you can't volley after the first bounce, okay? So what I was seeing as a strategy is that a lot of players were, as soon as they did the second bounce, they just went straight to the net. Now, with doubles, straight to the net pickleball, um, since there's less space, you're gonna get a lot of those points where you're just like standing around the kitchen and the ball, like, and it looks like that. And I think this is where tennis gets it right in that you know how doubles, they widen the court a little bit. Um, I don't think that pickleball does that. And I think that pickleball could benefit from like a little bit of a wider court like tennis. Again, I'm not an expert. I didn't invent this sport. And I guess they've been doing it for decades. So probably no one's had that many complaints about it. But that's something that I've noticed from like a TV aspect. Because when plays got really like stationary, it got really stationary. Also, like I said, only the serving team can uh, win points. So there were a lot of times where nobody was scoring points because the returning team after the second bounce was just able to take control of the point. And so the games went on for a little bit longer than I would like, but that's just another, that's just whatever, that's personal preference. And as both matches were over, I didn't like leave feeling disappointed. I didn't like turn off my screen feeling disappointed. Yeah, there were, there were times where I checked out, but I do that with tennis as well. I don't think that televised pickleball is gonna take over the country like wildfire, don't get me wrong. Um, there were points where I was completely checked out of, but that's the thing is that when you're building a professional league, you gotta just build and build and build. And that's a hurdle that any sports league has. You know, even though it's new, people are gonna be like, why should I care? And the, you gotta, but you have to remember, all of these sports leagues had to start somewhere. So I'm down to give pickleball more of a chance um, televised and whatnot. I feel like this is one of those sports where like the longer I watch it, the more I'm gonna be invested in players or invested in strategies or invested in whatnot. So I don't think it's a bad television product, but I do understand why if you're like used to tennis, if you're used to um, badminton, if you're used to ping pong, I can see why you would see this and then be like, why is this on my TV? I do not think that this is as exciting as ping pong or tennis. It doesn't have like the narrative building of tennis or like the fast paced, just absolute of ping pong. So it's like in the middle. 
I feel like this is one of those sports that like you can find fun to play and not find fun to watch. And I totally understand. But I don't think that this is like the worst sport televised ever. Somewhere in the middle. So thank you guys for watching my video on if pickleball is a good televised sport. Um, I hope this gave you guys some clarity. And if you guys were on the fence about watching pickleball on TV, I would recommend that you do it. Give it a try. Maybe see if it's for you. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm someone that watches a lot of sports and has opinions on a lot of them. So, but don't take my opinion too seriously. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe and thank you to all my Patreon followers and my followers on other platforms. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.